If anyone wonders why I frequently take my glasses off, the reflection is getting green screened out. Good kitten internet. Ah, sorry about that. Welcome back to Vandal Hearts. Um, which I have not played since the last recording. Um, well, obviously not, but this is Saturday, the 25th of September, for reference. I, you can actually see the time in the top right. I'm doing well. How are you? Um, so yeah, it's been a bit since I've recorded. Oh, helps if I actually have the microphone close to me, doesn't it? Whoops. Move my glasses out of the way. Knock everything around. I'm doing great today. Drop my personal volume down a bit. <sighs> okay. Where were we? <laughs> this is the section of the game I don't remember very well for reference. Oh, I need to make a backup of my save. One moment. All right, now I should be prepped. Ah. So I've had a bit of a fun week. Um, no. Reset. Fast forward. Hit start a bunch. This is basically how my week has been. Yep. Continue. Hit the correct button. I haven't even played anything else with my controller. Why was I using the wrong set of buttons? Oh well. Okay. Now we're back. So. Um... Wait. This is before the save. I saved at the end of the last video, didn't I? Where's my save? Oh no. Save state? Okay. That's not it, so undo load state. Let me just get through this really fast. Because this is just the start of the battle again. I know I saved this. It's quicker for me to do this than to reload from the game itself. Or at the very least, I have my save right at the end. Okay. Also, the audio is completely gone now. Food from backup RAM. Is it in cartridge RAM? Okay, it's in cartridge RAM. Breathe me. Breathe. Also, the game audio is glitched, so I'm going to have to reset it anyway. But actually, let's save it in the correct spot so I don't freak out again. Thanks, me, from the past. Uh, now let's reset the game. So we have audio back. Ah, nothing like spending almost five minutes just trying to get the game to load. It's great. So yeah, as I was going to say, um, the last, not the explanation for the plot up to now, but the last actual gameplay video that I had, I had mentioned that I was, I had no internet access at the start of the video. Turns out my cable modem was dying. I replaced that yesterday. Um, at least that's what we think, we being myself and the ISP. So, I have a new cable modem. That's good. Um, I actually want to go back into the city to buy things. Oh, I can't. Never mind, I'm not going to go into the city to buy things. Uh, okay, let's grab things from the wagon then? Do I have anything from the wagon that I care about? Not really.
See? Soul Water is an infinite area of effect heal. And it also heals max, for reference. It's great. I love it. I love them so much. Okay. We only have three people without any healing items in their slot. Rog versus Clint. Rog, you can get the Aura Gem. Clint, I'm gonna give you Fairy Boots. Okay. So I don't remember anything about this part of the game for some reason. I mean, not anything. I remember some things, but it's not a very clear memory. I'm just looking up to see what items are in this next battle that I have to actually care about. There it is. Okay, it's just a unique item. It's not anything that's particularly critical. Ah, boy. Let's go to the Great Maasai Forest. The one looks creepy. It looks like a villain in most games. The port of Karachi is just past this forest. Do we really have to go to Karachi? We should be helping on the southern front, like really far away from Karachi. We've already discussed our role with Clive. What is your problem lately, Diego? What? Uh-oh. Something doesn't feel right. This is Zeno's theme, by the way. He has his own theme. Ho ho ho! I've already forgotten the voice I used for Zeno. This is a running thing for me. I, but I want to get the full music in. So, you're that elite unit of rebels that I've been hearing so much about. I've never seen you before. And since you're destined to die here, I suppose I'll never see you again. Who are you? Zeno Kalamani. What voice was I using for Zohar? I should really be listening to previous videos so I can remember voices. Or take notes. So you're caught up in this after all. So you're caught up in this after all. Master Zohar! Uh... When I heard of someone attempting to unleash the power of the Magic Stone, I wondered, can you still not see? You seek a power, greater power, but it would only cause you harm. <laughs> you never change. Honest and good, and inflexible as a blind goat. Silence! Ooh, that'd make a good thumbnail. I'm gonna have to do that for the thumbnail. If you haven't noticed, I've actually been doing custom thumbnails for every single one of these videos. You're nothing but a servant of hell, blindly lusting for power. I did not return to this world to allow you to destroy it. Can you even stop me? You're weakened from crossing dimensions. I summon forth the darkness from this ancient forest. Dark forest, I summon thee! Ooh, slow down. What are these creatures? <laughs> Enemy or not, I can't stand to see my old mentor eaten. So bid thee farewell. <laughs> Zeno, wait! Zohar, who's that guy? No time for explanations now. Here they come. So, we're actually getting some of Zohar's backstory. So he is, in fact, from this time? Question mark? So... This battle has a couple of features that I wanted to... Well, first off, always distant and tilted up slightly. Okay. So there's a couple of features on this battle I wanted to point out. First off, let's go with the enemies. Um, we got bugaboos and whites.
Bugaboos are archers. They vomit on you. They're also level 10. We are much higher than level 10 at this point. Then there's the whites. The whites try to eat you. They're level 11. So none of the enemies are particularly scary, especially in comparison to the last battle. Holy crap. I mean, look at their attack. 39. For reference, Eel and I has 65 defense. This is not going to be a very damaging fight. It's the fact that there's a lot of them. There are two marks. That one is one of them, and the other one, let's see if I can spot it. It's probably up here somewhere. Yep, the snail's the other one. So there's two marks on this battle, and one of them... Um, this is the aura gem on the battle, and this is a king foil. Wherever that was. There. So... This is a very similar battle to the battle that we had with the um, golems much earlier on in the game. Not in terms of enemy count, but in terms of how we go about this. We want to go around in a circle, but what I want to do is to go this way first so I can grab this item. Keep in mind, we have two flyers now, so it's a little easier for us to do things like that. But also, we have two flyers now, we need to be careful of archers, and there's a lot of archers on this battlefield. There's two in the starting area alone, not counting the two back here. Three back there, really. And we start far enough away where we can't reach anyone. Well, nope, can't even reach anyone with Hawk. Never mind. I might be able to archer somebody. I doubt I can reach. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to... We're in a bad position to start, but... Eh? It's not that big of a deal. They're going to focus on Ash for sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting up two fronts. Oh, I bet Zohar can probably hit a couple of people, but eh. Can you even hit people with Roman fire from there? I mean, you can hit the bugaboo, but who cares? I mean, I could hit from here, but then I'm wide open. And I'm only hitting uh, one enemy. Not worth it, for sure. Okay. Um, what about Lady Eel and I? Lady Eel and I can probably hit two. Yeah, Lady Eel and I can hit two. That's probably worth it for a Roman fire. Unfortunately, slow down as usual. I mean, if it's just on the spell effects, I don't really mind the slowdown that much. All right, they should be in counterattack range at this point, and I gain seven XP. That's because Eel and I is level 19. Oh yeah, I should check levels on characters. 18, 17, 18, 19, 19, 18, 18, 17, 16 for Darius. Okay, so we need to get our Hawks up for sure. And a bit for Clint as well. Nolan, I actually want you on this side. And basically, everybody else is going over here. I just realized I threw both healers over here. Oh well. like I'm throwing both mages over there. All right. Let's see how well this works. This should be an easier battle. If I remember right, this is more of a breather type of battle. Let's find out. Yeah, 24. That's not too bad. Not compared to what we were just dealing with. Jeez. Like I said, they vomit on you. 
Going after the lowest level, okay. Oh, that's right, it's Claws. That's what it was. You're dead. Thank you for giving Darius the XP that I wanted him to get anyway. All right, our lowest level is now 17, which is shared between the two Hawks and Clint. And you're going to go after Eamon. Okay. Oh, um, the main thing to worry about on this battlefield is that everything can poison. Forgot to mention that. Nothing has yet, but that doesn't mean they won't. Oh, crap, I didn't realize I was in range. Thank you, Eamon. I mean, this I expected, but they're hitting Dolan. Ah, uh, fine. <sighs> yep, you're gonna attack Clint. Which will hurt, don't get me wrong, but I'm fine. And I have two healers over there. Ooh, that sucked. I have two healers over there, so that's not that big of a deal. Ooh, I didn't notice that they could reach Hawks. Didn't do much damage, though. I did more damage with Hux. I did 60 damage, but you saw their stats. Their stats are really bad. Oh, I might have a problem. I didn't realize I can have that many enemies hit me already. Like I said, the main problem with this battle is that there's a lot of enemies. And that's why I'm fast forwarding, because, um, yeah. Okay. So, Clint needs healing bad. I'm gonna have Hux do it. I think a healing plus is in order. Yeah, it's phase shift time. Way too big of a height difference. In fact, I can't reach with any of those goobers. Eli and I can reach, but Eli and I is not one that I need to get more XP on. I get counterattacked, I'm dead. Oh, I should save. In battle save. If I get counterattacked, I'm dead, but I shouldn't get counterattacked. Because they should be dead. Yes. Do I have a better attack spell yet? reach anybody with Sarah. Uh, so I guess Sarah might actually end up healing instead. I mean, Hux has been damaged, but not by much. There we go. Much better. Oh, level up. Sarah's now 19. Sarah's 19 age-wise, anyway. Anyway, um... So I can have Hux kill this Gooper. Not gonna give me much luck in the way of XP, but I kinda need fewer of them around. And that's the only one I can pick off at the moment. Oh, I can't reach him. Never mind. Well, that sucks. Uh, in that case, it's gonna have to be Eli.
Really? My best option is legitimately Roman fire. Oh. A bit of a waste, but I need fewer archers around here right now. I have too many squishies. Go away. Push. Bonk. Okay, where can I position myself where I'm not going to get Archer Death? Probably here, actually. I'm not concerned about getting counterattacked. I'm going to, but, you know. Ooh, almost killed him in one shot. Didn't get hit back, so it's fine. I could actually have Hux take care of the other one. So I think I will. Don't want to deal with the archers. I'm going to... Hux is going to end up getting hit by the bugaboo across the hall, but, you know. One! If only this was Final Fantasy Tactics and I can just throw a stone. So I guess now's a good time for me to start talking about the next game that I'm going to end up playing. Um, I'm not sure what yet. Dang, you've got range. And Darius is taking the other one. That'll be fine. I can have Hux heal them. Um... Ooh, I didn't realize I can get hit from that far away. Keep forgetting how long those ranges are. Okay. Um... You can hit Sarah. You can try to hit Sarah. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out what game to play next. I'm definitely not ready to play Wild Arms 3. I want to do that after my move, not before. Is there anybody even injured that would be over there? Not really. I mean, I have injured over here, but inconsequential, to be honest. Okay, um, so anyway, game. So, yeah, I'm trying to think of what game to play next. And I've got a couple of options. Um, maybe I'll actually do an independent video on this itself. But... I don't want to jump into another strategy RPG, because these I want to use sparingly. I know they're not the most interesting games in the world for a lot of people to watch. Um, I don't want to play Wild Arms 3 yet, because it's not time, and I'm not going to do that until I move to Norway. Can I hit him back with a Roman fire from here? I can. So I'm going to. Soften them up a bit. Um. And by soften them up, I mean kill them, apparently. Whoops. No, no, he's not the one that needs XP. Uh, how many bug boos? Three at most, and probably more like one. Die. I love flyers so much. So the games that I'm thinking about at the moment, I'm thinking about starting over with Hades and doing a Hades run. That's one of my options at least. Uh, 
Uh, another option would be playing a randomizer of Rabbi Ribby. Uh, oh, I should mention, Hades is a um, roguelike game with a large amount of plot. And lots of meta plot. <gasps> Ranges are ridiculous. I mean, they don't hit very hard. It's just that their range is nuts. And that's the one that I thought could hit me. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the other white. Blah, blah, blah. Spin death. Darius will be leveling up at least. I don't think any of them can hit me. No, okay. They can still somehow hit Grog from that range. Just nuts. And you can also hit Grog. Um. So yeah, Hades is a very plot-centric game where you are playing as the son of Hades and trying to leave the underworld. Nice short summary of the game. Um, Royal Foil, apparently, is the name in this game. Okay. Fairy Star Grog. So, it's a roguelike game with a lot of plot, but the times that I'm not dealing with plot, it's going to be very quiet. Because I'm going to be fighting a bunch of things, and fighting a bunch of things is not exactly the most entertaining thing in the world. Before I do that, I'm saving. I'm basically using Darius as bait. Which is why I'm having him herb himself. There's not enough people nearby is the problem. If I can get up there... Having an archer stationed here would be a great plan, but can't get there from here. Um, so it's an action adventure game. So we're not talking about RPG elements or anything like that. We are talking about beating people down. We're talking about a randomized dungeon, um, for those that are 15, really. Didn't that use the heal 30? If I could be hit from there or not. That's the problem, is that I don't know where I can actually be hit from. I could just fly over here and bonk that one, but then I can be hit from one, two, three, four bugaboos. Yeah, I'd be dead. Um, if I go to this line, same problem. I saved. So anyway, um, it may not be all that entertaining for people is my concern. And it's also a relatively recent game. I do love the game. I have mostly gone through the plot. Not entirely, but mostly. Ash, that's fine. Ash can heal himself, so it's fine. And he can take three hits without any problems. Okay, so I did in fact hide in the shadow of the tree with my or er, with my spear folk. Yeah, that's a mistake. Die. They're the ones that need level up the most anyway. And Clint also, but alright, another one. 
running into my spear. Yep, Eamon's 18 now. So yeah, while I like the game and it's fun to watch on stream, it does get boring after a bit, and I'm concerned that the boringness is going to be a problem. And let's... Nolan can move there. I'd rather have Nolan move there first. Hopefully. Okay, Sarah can reach. Very light yourself. Oh, I probably should have healed Eamon. Just thought about it. Oh well. Yeah, how did you heal 27 with your healing and Hux healed like 10? <clears throat> Whatever. We're getting into the danger zone. I'm thinking I'm gonna have Flint hang out back here actually. here is safe. These two lines are actually safe at this point. So I could moiter those two bugaboos. Which sounds like an excellent idea right now. Ooh, I did not actually kill them. That might not work out well. Whoops. I forgot. I'm weak. That was a bad idea. Um, origin? Don't I have an origin on him? No. I have a freaking iron helm. Why do I have an iron helm? Well, I'm at least going to kill one of them. This might have been a bad idea. Probably should have kept them hiding. We'll, we'll find out. Push comes shove, I reload. So this is the problem. So I think three of them can hit Eamon. And if three hit Eamon, Eamon's dead. Huxley actually can be hit from there. That's a foolish move. Dabs. Oh, four can hit Eamon? Yeah, screw that. I am definitely going to have to reload. Yep, Eamon's dead. Are you going to be more help? Who goes after Sarah? Would have expected Darius. Anyway, uh, reload time. My last load was a few turns ago, wasn't it? I don't remember which of the two I last saved on. I want to say it's the other one now that I'm loading. Yeah, not, definitely not that one. That's turn two. The other one's turn four, isn't it? Oh, well. I um, guess this is going to be a longer video than I thought. Yeah, it's the turn before I did my cunning plan of standing here. Oh, that's right. I need to heal myself. You're the one with the aura gem. So I could actually aura gem to hit all of them. I'm going to. We're doing things slightly different. I mean, I hit five units. That seemed like it was worth it. Yeah, you 
you don't even have a thing. And I forgot to equip the Iron Helm. It just dawned on me. Ooh, I have Perfect Guard now. So Perfect Guard is a combination of... Well, here, I'll show you because why not? Perfect Guard yourself. Oh, wait, no. Perfect Guard is this one. You no longer get hit. So you can Perfect Guard somebody and basically have them stand out in the middle of a field. And they become bait. And it works great. But the problem is that Sarah's not near any of them right now. Which sucks. Clint, we're deciding that you're actually going to stay over here. Actually, you're going to move there. Hux is going to move here. Just admit that you need more healing. So yeah, um, the next game I was thinking of was Rabby Ribby. Uh, Rabby Ribby is a um, Metroidvania bullet hell Yuri game. I unironically love the game. A lot of fun. I don't care about the counterattack. Okay. That sucked. But the point of Rabby Ribby is that you are a rabbit who's been shape changed into a human, and you have no idea what the heck's going on, but you want to go find your owner. And lots of things in Sue. Very anime-esque. Um, the Bullet Hell game, which is not at all my normal genre, but turns out I'm actually not terrible at them. Good move on moving back, because I can't hit you back, I believe. Yep. See, the AI gets to know that, but I don't. Oh, that was a mistake. Ow. Oh, well, I survived. It'll be fine. I may have survived. I'm still alive. Because I didn't get poisoned. That's the only reason why I'm still alive. Yep, you're attacking Ash, because Ash is your only valid target. That's fine. Um, I have beaten Rabby Ruby at this point, including all DLC and so on, but I would end up playing on a much higher difficulty level and with a randomizer, because there is a randomizer available for Rabby Ruby. I'm still going after Eamon. Interesting. I would have thought they would have gone after Darius, since Darius is much more heavily injured. Apparently, back turned is more important to them. Oh, they're both level 18 now. So, Clint's the only level 17 left. This time, I'm going to remember to save. There we go. Okay. Okay. So these three are now injured enough to do what I was trying to do before, I believe. I'm going to double check really fast. Yes. games have I been considering? Um, oh, right. Um, uh, why am I... Hollow Knight. There we go. Um, the reason why I'm considering Hollow Knight is that I've never played it. Yeah, maybe using Perfect Guard wasn't the greatest of ideas. That's okay. Yeah, just heal yourself. And unfortunately, my sorcerer is lagged behind because I decided to go leaping off a bridge, basically. All right, these goobers. Clint, can you reach? No, of course not. That'd be too easy. You need better than that. I 
Isn't he been injured? No. Tuck's injured? No. I guess healing plus it is. So, um, Hollow Knight is another Metroidvania game. I've been on a Metroidvania kick lately. Um, that I have played none of, for reference. So, that's the big advantage in playing Metroidvania. Or, big advantage of playing Hollow Knight is that I've never played it. So, I've watched a small amount of it being played, but not any significant amount. What is your attack range right now, anyway? Over to there? Okay. You're dead. Theory is that they're going to attack Clint. Let's find out. Um, so Metroidvania games, named after Metroid and Castlevania, are exploration-ish games. Yeah, they do have better range than me. Once I hit level 20, I will have better range than them. Or same range, one of the two. You're hitting Grog, yep. Um, so there's a lot of exploration involved, which is the reason why Rabby Ribby as a randomizer sounds interesting to me, because well, I've obviously never played it randomized, so I won't necessarily know where anything's at. Um, Hollow Knight, I won't know where anything's at because I've never played the game, so it'll be a brand new experience for me, and that might be interesting to watch. Um... Unfortunately, all three of those are relatively recent games. I usually play older games because, well, I have more fun playing older games usually. I'm trying to think of older, like, DOS games would be ideal, because not too many people actually play DOS games, unlike me. Oh, actually, I can hit if I attack from here. Might as well. Nice! Alright. Uber Patrol. Are you kidding me? I can move once. This is the problem with Guardsmen. Everybody else move first. Ridiculous is what this is. I'm actually fine with Ash being the target, so. Oh, I should have had Ash heal himself. Oh well. Sarah, go ahead and move on up. Yeah, go ahead and expend the last of your healing on healing at. I don't understand why the monk has better healing. I hit one of the two. Both of these characters are injured, though. Move your one. Um, are there games or game genres or types of things that you all might want to watch? Um, I'm open to things. I can definitely kill that bugaboo. I don't know if I'd survive the crackback, though. I can kill two of them. That might actually be enough now that I'm thinking about it. I didn't save at the start of this turn, so I'm going to save now. I think I'd survive the crackback from two of them. 
I just need to make sure I don't kill everyone before I grab that other item. It's not in required, it's a nice to have. I think I take less than 46. Yeah, I'm fine. Ooh, you didn't die. Interesting. That might actually become a problem. Going after Clint, that's fine. You know what? Just save over the same slot. It's fine. All right. We got the other aura gem. Item. Heal thyself. A little bit of a waste, but it's probably better to be safe than sorry in this case. Because I think I'm in range of the white. Yeah, I am in range of the white. Yeah, the white would have killed me. Push. Bonk. You're dead. Frog, you are finally cresting the roof. Roof? Cresting the bridge. You know. The not roof. Really, the rest is kind of irrelevant at this point. This is just mop up. I was expecting this to be a 45 minute video. It's longer than that, but not by much. So pretty decent. Clint, you can finally do something. Really? I think it would be better for me to attack this one. You're dead, right? Yeah. There we go. Heal everybody over here. Not that anybody but Flint needed healing. And needs a strong word anyway. That's what I thought would happen. All right, there's only one enemy left and they are going to die upon my blade. Yeah, I literally can't go up this direction. I love guardsmen. Let's finish the mop up. And you're dead. And that's it. So Clint is still 17, most people are 18, we have three 19s I want to say, or four 19s. I guess they're worth a decent amount of cash, although we're not exactly poor at the moment. See, there's a lot of enemies that battle. There's actually more enemies that battle than the previous battle. Sudden headache. Hmm. Probably stop recording for now. I need to take a walk anyway. And get something to drink. Ah, we have cutscene now. That strange man called you his mentor. Oh, yes. He was my student over 300 years ago. 300 years ago? Just who are you? Well, he was stuck in the place of weird time shenanigans, so... You know. Kind of explainable? I just noticed that my camera's tilted. At least it's probably not very noticeable for you. My true name is Zohar Abu Sayed. So, um, hold on a moment. Yep, just want to make sure I had this right. So, Abu Sayed is a reference to a real-life figure um, written about by Ibn Battuta. For those of you who know history well enough, you probably know who Ibn Battuta is. But if not, Ibn Battuta kind of um, couch-surfed around the um, world, or the... Um, Middle Eastern slash Northern Africa slash, yeah, anyway, um, went around the Islamic world, basically, and he 
kept a diary. Anyway, um, Abu Sayed is Abu Sayed Bahadur Khan, as in a Khanate Khan. So this is actually a reference to real life, world history, on Earth. And um, Abu Sayed was considered to be the most beautiful person. Also the leader of one of the divisions of the Khanate and so on. So just wanted to give a bit of historical reference. I just wanted to make sure I was thinking of the correct person that this is likely a reference to. There's a couple of other Abu Sayyads. Um, ruler of the Timurid Empire. Um, princes. I mean, it's a not uncommon name after all. But it is a reference to reality. So just wanted to mention that. You say Zohar Abu Sayyad? Anyone who dabbles in the Arcana has heard of Zohar the Aloof. Forgotten about that particular nickname. As he said, I'm not even a tenth as powerful as I once was. So, Zohar is the most powerful mage who has ever walked this world. Yup. It's thanks to the shock from the time warp that he trapped me in 300 years ago. So, that is the reason why Zohar actually knows about all of this time warp shenanigans. It's because it's not just its wibbly-wobbly stuff. It's the fact that Zohar and Zeno were locked in combat, very similar to what we saw locked in combat between General Magnus and Dolph. My goodness. In the beginning, Zohar was a highly ambitious young practitioner who strove for the mastery of magic. But at some point, he abandoned his principles in pursuit of power. He dreamed one day of rekindling the flames of judgment. However, he was unable to handle my magic, green as he was, and it generated a space-time distortion. The distortion swallowed me into a time warp, and, well, you know the rest. As for Zeno, he likely washed ashore in a time years previous to now. Yeah, I see. No. Uh, no, not really. Zeno's why the Empire wants to rekindle flames of judgment, then. Uh, it seems to be a safe assumption. At any rate, I'm partly responsible for Zeno. I'll stop him or die trying. Thus ends all the backstory that we have for Zohar. No, I'm not joking. We're going to start ending backstories at this point of the game. And that's it. Our next stop is the trade city of Karachi. It's a really short map this time, apparently. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'm actually saving the correct memory card slot this time, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Let's go. There we go. Bye.